Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2007 Fleetwood Gearbox. This is a 335 FS model. So this is probably about 34, 35 feet long and it's got an 8x10 uh, toy box in the back. So let's take a quick walk around it. Uh, this particular fifth wheel is in great shape for a used one. I don't see any damage on it. Looks great. The awning's beautiful, in beautiful condition. The tires look really good. The tread and sidewalls look good. I did notice just a tiny bit of peeling paint on the awning. I know that's really minor. Uh, it's got this very, very heavy duty ramp door. So I do notice that there's some uh, wear and tear from tires. These people had uh, just road bikes like Harleys. So they didn't have anything crazy, but they did put a little wear on the uh, gate. Uh, you've got a fuel station, and this has the optional extra fuel tanks. I believe this has 50 gallons of fuel storage. Uh, again, the tires look good. They, you can show the, you can see they had them covered. Got the little cotton things on them. Uh, this is just where your fresh water goes in. This is your electric connection, and they have a 10-gallon hot water heater on this model. Um, kind of cool. The previous owner insulated the storage doors a little extra. They put some extra care into this coach. Uh, and this is a 50 amp setup for the cord. Here's your LP bottle, one of two. And there's storage up front. So you've got some extra storage. And I also want to point this out. You know, some extra things the previous owner did, the insulation, and also just like, uh, I don't know what else they did, but I'm sure they did some other stuff um, to help insulate this. And then in here is a hookup to an air compressor. So this is your furnace, and this is the back of your refrigerator. And there's also controls out here for the stereo. Kind of nice, got a nice big grab handle. Seems like an upper end fifth wheel. All right, inside, just super cool. Uh, walk in, you've got this real cool look on the cabinets, solid surface counters. It's got a microwave, a range, an oven. It's got this neat setup with two chairs and then a sofa, I mean a dinette, and the dinette makes to a bed. And also they put a loft in here with a full queen bed, and they made this nice and tall. So the, the garage, Half of it is low so that the loft could be nice and roomy. Uh, I just wanted to take a seat real quick. I don't know why, but it just seems a good mention that these chairs are super comfortable. So I think you'll like them. All right, let's go out in the garage. <clears throat> so you can see I can stand up in the back half of the garage. This portion is the loft. There's a bunch of storage up here. It's deep enough for stuff like gear and helmets. And they've got this uh, table and some extra ladders. So just a real cool setup. And the basic floor in the garage looks to be in good shape. I don't see any wear and tear. Or just a little bit, a little stain from the tire. All right, in the front of the trailer, you can see the kitchen, the refrigerator. This is all, uh, again, a nice shelf up here, real deep, so you can put all kinds of gear, jackets, all kinds of storage in this fifth wheel. And the refrigerator looks good. Uh, we just got this coach in and we have done no cleanup on it at all. The previous owners took fantastic care of it. All right, in the bedroom, a nice big queen bed up here with storage at the base of the bed, storage on either side, and then the bed lifts up and you've got some nice big storage underneath with this drawer that slides front and back. All right, in the bathroom, the sink's outside, got a built-in medicine cabinet, huge garden tub in here, so all kinds of room, I'm 5'11", all kinds of height in here, and let's just take a quick look at the potty, so it looks like it's got a porcelain commode with a water saver, so that's all high-end toilet, so whoever wins this RV is going to love it. 